Xenia. You don't have to think that. We know it happened. Xenia getting upset tonight. He's in the loser's bracket, and... All right, that is a shocker to hear. Yeah, yeah Kamina and Lamuna also beat Silvio. Yes. Which I is an, I'm an upset for him. Uh, I don't know where Laluna stands with Ultimate, but I'm here for I, I will say that he lost game three. Uh, sorry, Silvio lost game three because he went by left. Mm. Not because he went by left, but he went by left and then lost game three. What an up air string from King, uh, from Laluna, excuse me. Just got up air, up air, and then got the up beat into two more up airs, kneeling so much damage, pressuring the fact that Belmont doesn't have that many good like landing buttons in the air, especially ones that can contest with Joker up air. Now, I also want to just go quickly into uh, sort of the mentality that both of these players might be having, where both of them had an upset, and there is there was a solid chance, you know, for either one of them could take the set, and either one of them could go really deep into the winner's bracket, possibly farther than they ever have before. So there's a lot of that pressure that, like, this could be their one chance in a long time to actually make it deep into Xeno bracket. Yeah, no, for sure, like, this is, like, a really, really... It's like these kinds of, like, magical sets that happen in Xeno every now and then. Beautiful up tilt from, like, King Kong, like, like, so smart, like, knowing that this is a percentage where it will kill. It's not a move that normally you see kill. Um, and right now he just has to find a way to get back onto stage against Luna. Now, I will also say, when it comes to the Belmonts, I spoke to, uh, Marshall, you know, who plays the Belmonts, and he said that the big thing about this character is... The fact that this every match with them is basically a set of adaptation. That the Belmont has a plan that they start with, and then they pay attention to what you do to their plan, and they adjust it accordingly. And so it ends up being this like arms race of adapting between the two players. And right now it seems like King Kamina is the one who's ruling this war because at 171%, he's not losing this stock. Arsene yep. is about to become a factor, but... Like, what people don't necessarily talk about so often is maybe Joku's, like, difficulty to kill sometimes. Like, he would just need you falling out of the dash attack. So unfortunate. That is the kill there because he whiffed the up B and disadvantage. Like, that is a really good button. But you are so vulnerable afterwards. Great up smash from Luna. And right now, this is going to be the down throw into the drag down up there. Oh, my God. So much. Look at that. With one throw, he evened up the percent count. But Arsene is about to go away. He's a lot of tipper back there. So much damage. The, I think it was a forward tilt, not a forward smash. He, has to, he had to drop the Rebel Guard right there. And now, arguably, Joker's, mm, Joker's regular recovery, his tether, is much better against, like, Belmont because he could just, like, sort of wait out a lot of the ledge trapping options while with his, um, Arsena B. Goodness, I can't remember the name of it. Like, once you're on there, like, you're on there. However, I think that the nice approach that King Kamina has been taking is that he throws these axes to intercept the recovery, the, the tether before it even he has a chance. Yep. Beautiful landing there into an upbeat. Uh, like, he's, like, running away with this very, very confidently right now. Just like you see La Luna maybe a little bit uncomfortable with getting back onto stage against Belmont. Okay, that forward air tethering into the ledge at such a pivotal moment. 113% on La Luna, but he has two stocks to chew through. King Kamina seems to be absolutely in control, yep. and the fact that he's forced to approach just means that his game plan is that much stronger. This could possibly be. That is it. the FPL and the stock. And what I love is how King Kamina, like, King, is it King Kamina or Kamina? Uh, I'm going to say Kamina because it reminds me of I'm going to say Kamina, Wars. and one of us is going to be right. <gasps> uh, thank Smell. you for the two bitches. <laughs> Snow Infinity. Why did I say Snow Infinity? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yeah, Snow Infinity cheered. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, buddy. Anyhow, what I really love from King uh, is his ability to sort of call out like a lot of Laluna's aggression at higher percent when he started to get a little bit antsy. He's like, damn, I want to take this log. I want to take it right now. So I'm going to jump into you. And then he just like, all right, I know you're going to do this. So I'm going to hit you with my down tilt. And Belmont's down tilt is the Joker. biggest call out for aggression when it's not being used as an escape option. Now, the other thing about Belmont is he's always going to have a projectile out. But what yeah. really differentiates the Belmont is what his second projectile is going to be. 
You know, he always wants to have something out on the field, whether it's you know, the cross or the holy fire. And what really sort of dictates his game plan yeah. is the second option that he chooses. Right now, as we move into this next game, it you know, that was a pretty dominant game for King Kamina. However, it's important to remember he took the first stop. It is pretty easy for uh, Belmonts to be dominant if they take the first stop. They're one of the best characters with a lead like that, so... Ooh. I'm not if Laguna totally takes sure. the first stock this time around, we're going to have a very different story. Brrr. But he does oh, oh. And look at that. Like, you see, like, Laluna, like, jumping into these these setups, um, like, almost, like, every single time consistently. He seems very, very unfamiliar with how to get back onto stage against Belmont. And honestly, there wasn't a whole... Ooh, that was so funky. King was, like, barely a few pixels away from getting hit with the back hit of the... Now, where is King Kamina from? Uh, New Jersey, or Philly, one of the two. I think Philly. Okay, yeah, so he doesn't make it out to Zeno all the time. And the fact that already, when he's here, he managed to beat Venia, and right now he's looking at a pretty good Oh, no, no, New Jersey, well. never mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, chat. Gosh. And, like, like La Luna, like, is so finding such, like, a difficult time of, like, jumping in on, like, his pressure around the platforms, but the back is finally going to call out a goal. That's huge damage. And in this matchup, the percent lead is its paramount. It dictates who has to approach. And Belmonts really aren't that good when they have to approach. Yeah. It's one of the really big weaknesses as the character. Oh, that was so good. It didn't matter that he countered the uh, that cross because he was locked into place and the forward smash does the dirty deed. He is looking in a great position right now. Although, as I say that, he is getting taken is for a ride. Is he actually locked into that? Is that like, that's it? He has to hold that? I can see the animation, right? He has to perform the animation. Of like, I gotcha! He's just so uh, he's so confident about the I gotcha! Well, what a beautiful like um, jab lock from oh. Maluna. Finally giving Okay, that is something he has to do more. Down guns, anything that's like an active hitbox over Belmont's recovery, does such a good job of just like giving him at any percent. But it is also good to note that King Kamina has been recovering really well with tethers mainly. And and right there, the reason it worked is because he was already so far off stage that he was just able to limit the option really well. Uh, I, I guess it is important to let, you know, go off stage and guard the Belmonts, but I think that he doesn't want to give up a ledge trap situation. Yeah. You know, going off stage and whiffing that means that now he has to get off the ledge against the Belmont. And that side beef from Belmont just goes so, so far. Uh, this is 100% Belmont, but Joku has just gone out of his son. He's going to struggle killing ever so slightly. Well, he could, but at the same time, he should have a pretty easy time. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was going to say he could rebel guard some projectiles and get the Arsene meter that way, but he didn't have the chance. He was just under too much pressure. And another one of those uh, holy yep. waters at the ledge. He took so many stocks from that. Yep. And I, Marcel the Richter God. Yeah, I don't know if I can deny that. He's already deep into bracket. Uh,